dive tables. At this point in the course, you already know many secrets about different diving techniques, and you even know how gases interact with the human body according to Haldane's theory. Now, let's examine this in more depth, so we can establish what we should do to make sure the dives we plan are as safe as possible. In order to calculate the absorption and release of inert gases in the tissues, Haldane used an exponential mathematical law. Just one parameter can define it. Half time. This term refers to the time, which is constant, needed by a compartment, a sort of mathematical tissue simulator, to complete half the gap that separates it from a condition of saturation. Initially, through experimentation, Haldane considered the human body as one single compartment, characterized by just one half-time. But the human body is not a homogeneous mass. It is made up of many types of tissues, therefore Haldane finally based his calculations on five different compartments, and for each one he established a specific half-time. 5, 10, 20, 40 and 75 minutes. An acceptable level of supersaturation, M value, was experimentally established for each of these compartments. Using the same theory and similar parameters, the US Navy established, for various depth time correlations, suitable decompression procedures so as to prevent decompression sickness. These procedures were verified experimentally in hyperbaric chambers and then on military divers in the water. These tables were later adopted by recreational divers all over the world. Thanks to these studies, it was possible to establish a maximum dive time for the maximum depth reached on a dive. By respecting these limits, it is possible to ascend directly to the surface without having to make an obligatory stop at a given depth. <laughs>